It's been a busy week with lots of things going on. I've got my tricorder build I'm working on and I've got some other things I'm working on. Uh, totally not to do with this channel at all, totally not to do with 3D printing, but someone who approached me to do a little bit of uh, marketing material for him. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about something I found interesting because as I've said before, I'm a long time comic fan. I've read them for years. And you know what? I've been reading Superman for a while now because I have, you know, I'm reading all post-crisis. It gets really crappy around 2005, 2006. Greetings, Steve here, DCPFX. So I want to talk about this. I, as I've said before, I've been a long time comic fan. I'm reading since I was a kid. I'm reading since, you know, in the early 70s. I was born in 67, so early 70s. I've been collecting since I was probably eight years old. I read a lot. I read a lot of the weird old Silver Age stuff, really odd stuff. But I've also read a lot of good stuff. So DC Comics has had a problem with continuity for years. And in 1984, Five, they did Crisis and Infinite Earths and they changed everything. Uh, you know, there's one Earth and, you know, because they had different things different there. So the Justice Society was something on Earth 2 and then Batman retired and married Catwoman and had Huntress and Dick Grayson stayed being Robin and he did this and that and the other thing. Anyway, they put that all together into one Earth. So in order to do that, they brought on John Byrne, who's an amazing artist and a pretty good writer, and revamped Superman's origin. So I thought, because I have all these kicking around somewhere on, on floppies, as we call comic books, I had um, access to the digital copies. So I'm reading them, 1986 on. And for a while, that was really great. A lot of fun, a lot of interesting stuff. And it's all good. And we got to the 2000s, and we had Electric Superman and all that stuff going on. Um, you know, and Death of Superman back in the 90s. All these things. And then we get to around 2004, 2005, and it gets really dark that's where we have identity crisis which you know there was the rape of a wife of a character and then we have infinite crisis where i'm at right now it's just dark and dumb and it's like let's make comics gritty because watchmen was so popular back in 1986 let's do it now <sighs> Now, I know it's coming, well, because I've read them, but I know it's coming, and I know it's going to get really, really dark. But it's going to get better, because we're going to get Booster Gold to come out of it as an, a, an epic series that lasted for four years out of this. It was phenomenal up until the 50, uh, New 52, and I hated with the passion. I know there's good stuff coming, but this is a slog to get through. And I just... I don't know what the thinking is. Let's make comics dark and depressing. Whatever happened to having fun with them? Let's just make them, but this is a... Uh, so to say I'm not enjoying it is an understatement. I'm going to get through it because, well, I'm going to. I've got... What have I got? I've got about another 100 trades to go through. I have everything up until the New 52 in trades that I'm reading on my iPad. So I'm at... 296 of 450 but a trade is basically four five six issues together so it's 150 pages you can do it in a couple minutes because well the story is not very good there's not much to read it's a lot of this and that oh great saw that coming a while away so it is what it is i think what i need to do though i think i gotta start part way through and stop it then just say you know what I'm going to New Teen Titans 1980. I'm going to read some of that kind of palette cleanser, or maybe I'll start up Booster Gold and I'll get through that and just have a little bit of fun with it because it was, for a lot of it was a fun series. It's just... And the funny thing is, too, I keep a whole lot of them. I have a 256 gigabyte iPad, so I have a lot of comics on my iPad all the time. I've also got some old classic Iron Men, like 1980, um, right around Demon in the Bottles time. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm close to it. And... It's great. It's back when comics were fun. You know, back when they were good at escapism and had fun. It didn't have to be all gritty and realistic and everything else. It's just kind of, eh. Anyway. So that's really all I want to say. I had some fun things uh, fall into my lap this morning. Uh, well, yesterday morning. It was uh, kind of a screw around and find out sort of situation. Um, 
I'm going to stay vague on this, but I was part of an organization and I decided I think it's time I'll leave in a couple months. And they said, get out now. I've alluded to that. They don't understand what I control. Um, there's one point of contact for some of these things we do on a daily basis. And guess who it is? And guess who's not inclined to help if you ask? So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, that's about as vague as I'm going to be for right now. I just, I don't, yeah. They don't watch this. They aren't friends of mine on YouTube anyway. It doesn't really matter. Anyway. So I hope everyone's having a great day. And we'll talk to you all later.